Fix it, Jesus. Fix it. Okay, fix it. Somebody fixed it. I don't know who fixed it, but somebody down to the Bravo, somebody down to the NBC Universal, somebody down to the Peacock, then fixed the episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta that aired this Sunday. Let's get into the tea, okay? Now, so if you head on over to our friends over at Queens of Bravo, and I actually saw this someplace else first, but this is the one of the best representations of visually. You know, I like to show and tell, so I like a visual to, to go along with it so you can see for yourself what I'm talking about. Well, it says Sunday's episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta is now back on Peacock and the season four title card that removed NeNe Leaks is, is gone in entirely. Now, let's talk about it real quick in case you guys did not know what had happened, okay? This was a title card that was shown on the episode as they were doing this flashback at the beginning of the episode. And fans called it out because it is not reflective of the seasons three and four intro. Excuse me. I have to sneeze. Um, not reflective of the season four, three and four intros that actually showed back in the day. They cut Nene Leaks out. Now, we also know that there was litigation that, you know, had gone on between Nene, Bravo, NBC Universal, Andy Cohen, in which Nene made allegations of, you know, racism, all types of other stuff. And so, you know, people were complaining and wondering, like, why would you guys, why would they even choose to do that when they didn't need to do that? And was it shade towards Nene? And so, you know, of course, Nene also reacted to the fans, indicating that she seen everything. And if we only knew what was going on behind the scenes, you know, that it would be interesting for us to see. So, um, Deadline, okay, actually was the one who i don't know if they broke the story but they definitely did a story on this and it says peacock restores bravo's the real housewives of atlanta season 15 episode with edit edits following backlash now apparently after the episodes air on sunday nights they're made available the next day on peacock so you were incentivized to watch the live broadcast and then if you missed it, of course, you can go back and watch it on Peacock, which is great. And now you guys know that Peacock are doing these extended versions of episodes where you can get unedited footage. You can get, you know, all the curse words and stuff like that that they may have to bleep out. They've been doing it for uh, Vanderpump Rules. And then they've also done it for the Royal Housewives of New Jersey reunion. So um, it's clear that certain liberties can be taken when, adding, when editing the episode and putting it in on Peacock. So... Apparently, some Peacock subscribers took to social media on Monday to note that the episode six of Real Housewives of Atlanta was not available despite having seen it on the streaming service earlier that day. OK, so it was up on Monday. The backlash was ensuing from Sunday night into Monday. We talked about it. Then apparently at some point Monday, it was taken down. Then it says, with the episode restored, the most obvious change was the opening sounds of this of said episode. The original show started with the Real Housewives of Atlanta title card with the voiceover saying previously on. OK. And this is what you see here is what we saw. And then by the time the new episode had been updated, because it said, you know, it, it had glitched to a flashback of the title card from season four. But by the time it had been updated, okay, Peacock doesn't cut back to the old intro, but instead keeps the current season 15 title card glitched out, okay? So this is what they did. I'm going to see if I can show it to you guys right here. Stand by. Stand on by. I'm going to pull it up for you here in GIF format so you can see it. I'm going to bring up the deadline. So you see here, the change is now just a glitch to keep the, the intro the same. And it goes back into what looked like the the what happened right after we saw the ladies in the lineup back in season four. So I thought that that was so interesting. 
So very interesting indeed. Now, of course, like I said, this came also after Nene Leaks had tweeted, you know, her response to the people, you know, saying that she thanked them for all of their DMs and their messages. It's really a shame people can do these things and get away with it if you only really knew, if only you knew. So, mm, somebody down there didn't fix it. They listened to the fan outrage, okay? And somebody said, okay, y'all need to... I, and I said it in my video earlier on. I said it in my video that day. I said, is it... It's a, it's a cool, creative concept, but is it worth it? No, it was not worth it, okay? It wasn't worth it. It really wasn't. All right, so let's move on. Basketball wives, as you guys know, it's no secret that Evelyn Lozada has been returning. I mean, you know, it's going to be returning. I think it was the Jasmine brand that might have broke the story. I cannot recall. But now we have people with the exclusive, which is so which is so wild to me. Like, no disrespect to people, okay, at all. No disrespect. But, I mean, it ain't no exclusive no more. We already know, okay, because we heard from another store. But anyway... I digress, I digress, I digress. No, And again, no disrespect to the People magazine. But People does give us an extended look. Now, there are a couple of versions of this press piece going around that we want to talk about. And one of them being, and of course, you know, uh, uh, the network Paramount will send out a press release or whatever to a bunch of different publications. And notably, Deadline was one of those that got, uh, I think got... Uh, I don't want to say an exclusive, but people actually got a separate exclusive. Mm -hmm. And this one was really just featured and focused on Evelyn. So I want to read this one because it contains a little bit more information when I was comparing my sources. So um, let's get into it. It says Evelyn Lozada is jumping back into the game. If you didn't know, to me, that's not really the news here. But we're going to get into what is the news in a second. It's really to me, Shawnee. But I guess it's really not much of a... Um, it's not really new news. It's not really like earth shattering news. It's like some people will be surprised and some people will be like, oh, you know, and some people will be like, oh, I expected that. So it says that uh, they can officially confirm that the 47, real, 47 year old reality star will return to basketball wives for the show's 11th season, two years after she announced she was leaving the VH1 series. Now, it says Evelyn's return happened as she all has always been a vital part of the franchise and an anchor upon which our most vibrant and magnetic storytelling has revolved. Now, this is what Shawnee, excuse me, I was going to say Shawnee O'Neill, but Shawnee Henderson tells people. She remains a popular, she remains a popular fan favorite and is one of the most self-expressive voices on the show. Now, Shawnee teases that the show will chronicle Evelyn's engagement to LaVon Lewis, who she met on Peacock's Queen's Court, and showcase how she is navigating her new relationship. Now, that's why I posted this here, so you guys can have the visual, again, show and tell, um, of who this man is, what he looked like, what they look like together. All right? And, of course, you have Miss Shawnee Henderson right here. But, more interesting, we get some other news, all right? It says basketball wives will also welcome four new teammates, as we had spoken about Brittany Renner, Vanessa Ryder, Jack E.L. Duckworth, and Kleana Worthen. I had not found a visual of Kleana Worthen. We had actually gone over the other three, I think. Um, so that's eight cast members in total. But interestingly enough, and again, this is where I didn't see in the Deadline article, but I could be wrong. It says the 11th season will also feature the, the show's first ever same-sex couple, which Henderson says, Shawnee, excuse me, says was important to her because she created a platform for self-expression and freedom across every choice that life, represent, life presents. Now, with the return of Lozada, the network promises the cast members will be putting their new and existing bonds to the test. So it says tensions run high. And this is according to the press release. Tensions run high as the veterans take newbies under their wings. But will they throw them a lifeline or shade with the fate of the sisterhood hanging in the balance? The new ladies are about to prove that they're not to be underestimated. Now, 
Sonny goes on to say that as we have evolved, our conflict resolution should encompass our maturity and not be expressed emotionally, but be addressed in ways that allow empathy, compassion, redemption, and an opportunity to learn from both the positive and negative experiences. Okay. So the, the 11th season will return this fall. She also says nothing grows in comfort. And I have learned that often conflict and discomfort sets the atmosphere to make us more self-aware of the places and spaces that we need to address. Now, again, the, the press release also notes that the series will be uh, rounded out by MVPs. Oh, yes. Don't you know? Jacqueline, uh, not Jacqueline, Jackie Christie. OK, Brooke Bailey and Jennifer Williams. So British Williams, Brandy Maxiel, and Angel Brinks will all not be returning, as I'm sure you guys have probably already heard. So it sounds like we will have eight ladies. In addition to this, Shawnee will be making a guest appearance on the show. Okay. So that little that last little paragraph about, you know, resolving conflict through, you know, and, and, and going through things and negatives and stuff like that. Girl, I feel like that was a way of saying, listen, I know Evelyn done did some problematic things on the show before, but everybody deserves grace. Period. Okay? Period. I mean, two things can be true. Evelyn is a popular cast member on that show. A. Evelyn has also said and done some problematic things on the show. B, period. Okay, so there you have it. Meet in the middle. Determine if you want to watch. I will be watching, and I'll let you know what happens in case you don't want to watch. All right? So that's that. Basketball Wives, this fall. All right? That's all the news we got for y'all right now, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.